Hey, French fries! How are you guys doing? Oh, I hope that you guys are doing so well. And today we're gonna do another mask, and it's gonna be a Phantom of the Opera. Yay! And without further ado, let's go. As always, we're going to take off all of the paint that it came with, with the scaring pad and alcohol. Once it's done, now is the time that you get to play with your design. Now, I like doing this even though it never looks the same <laughs> as the things that I draw on here, but it's basically for me to kind of like visualize what I wanted to do. And I went with a lot of inspiration on this one. I went with red, with gold, and with grays, and just glitters all the way around, just to make it look like Phantom of the Opera. So black, off-white, and red. Those are the colors. So this white, I actually made it as an off-white. I put a little bit of beige into it, just two little drops of it, just to make it like a cream color, and I think two coats made it look really good. Okay, so right here I decided to use beige to make a crumbling effect on the mask. Now I wanted to spruce up the mask a little bit, so I decided to turn this part into a red spot, just like so. And uh, this is when it started going downhill. <laughs> um, apparently the one uh, spray that I put, I didn't put enough in that corner, so it started clumping up the paint on the bottom. See? That that was just terrible. So I had to clean it off and then do two coats of the shortcut so that I could actually repaint this. Yeah, fun doing things two times. All right, so again, the cream colored mask and I did two coats of that. And then I did the other side in black. And to kind of like reactivate my paint, I do put a little bit of water, but I put way too much in the black. So I had to do two coats instead of one. Now time for the iconic flower, the rose that he gives to Christine. And I just really wanted that to be the focal piece on the black side. So I did that and I also did a line in between the white and the black to kind of give it a little, a little sprucing up, I guess. <laughs> and I did put a little bit of black into the red sparkle that I had. And I also made just a normal red paint and I did a couple coats, I believe four for this red just to make it dark enough to kind of hide the flower but still leave the raised dimension so it would be easier to just copy it again. Time 
Time for some sparkle. Yes, yes, yes. I do one coat of this darker tone. And I really do love it because it gives it that dimension that I was going for. And it was still not like too in your face as well. That's why I really liked it. And then just redo the entire flower in gold. Time to clean up the little extra and then do green leaves. Time to put the white string on the black side and I'm going to paint the other one with black so that once I wash it, it would be gray and it would just match better. So yeah, it takes a little longer and it makes a lot of mess, but if it looks good, it's worth it. Time to put the gray with the white. They're all together and it's done! Yay! This came out so pretty! I know it's so simple, but so is the mask for Phantom of the Opera. He had the white mask, and he always had a rose that he loved to give to Christine. So I just wanted to put the two and two together and still put a little bit of gold accents into it, just so you can see. So cute. And if you guys liked it as well, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!